the confidence builder, so hopefully we'll, we'll see that tomorrow. Another really good outing from Matt Warren. He had a blood in him, saved your bullpen for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah, he did. You know, he's he's been uh, he's been solid for about five or six straight times. He's been giving us six to seven innings every time, and we're going to need that on Fridays. You know, because especially today with a doubleheader, we knew we weren't going to be able to use our bullpen quite the same as we normally do. So it was very very important that he pitched deep, and uh, he did. And once again, he was able to throw three pitches for strikes, which is very important. I want to jump in real quick. Elman starts tomorrow. Yes. Thanks. Uh, when the season started, you talked about Matt essentially being a midweek guy, you know, and how deep the rotation was going to be. I know he's kind of established himself as the ace due to some performances you don't like out of the other starters, but really he's been consistent and good. Well, can you elaborate on what's made him so successful, so consistent? Well, he's, you know, when you're a starting pitcher, you have to throw three pitches for strikes. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's one of the our few that can do that. And that's why he's able to go six or seven, <clears throat> six or seven innings. So, um, but yeah, he came from you know where he was probably the third or fourth starter when we broke for our first games uh, on the first weekend, and uh, it just shows you, you know, it's it's a long season. Things happen. Guys get better. Some guys take a step back. And. He saw an opening there, and he took full advantage of it. Now, you know, he's going out there and doing what we need to have done on a Friday. So we need that to continue. To talk about the triple is huge. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was big. Uh, we needed it. But a uh, uh, good team win is good to, even though we're playing bad, uh, good to scrape out a win. But uh, we won't see that play out of us ever again. So it was good. Good to get that win, though. It was kind of... Sorry, go ahead. It was kind of a low trajectory. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Sorry. Uh, it was kind of a low trajectory. Did you think the ball was as deep as... Like, did you think you got as much on it as, as it did? Uh, no. Uh, it was low. Uh, me and Spence talked about sitting fastball mm -hmm. uh, before they had that. And... Uh, he kept throwing me low, so uh, decided to go with it, and uh, he gave me a fastball down there, and lucky enough, went over his head. Yeah, and then when the ball got away from the catcher, how much restraint did you need to knock out? Oh, everything. <laughs> I, I had to almost lay down to stop myself. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you. I'm Matt from West Virginia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tim from the World Herald. Nice to meet you, Tim. So, yeah, I'm not doing introductions. Uh, that's cool. Go ahead. Whiteman? No, for sure. Right, for sure. Sorry. Uh, what, three for three, and then you're up there with the tying run on third base. What are you looking to do? Just hit it hard somewhere? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know, I was thinking about our seniors, and uh, they don't got much time left, you know, so you got to make every game count for them, really. How close was that play at first? Uh, I was close, but I knew I had it. Yeah. You, They've been talking about you kind of getting it going for the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So I guess what? I guess going five for nine today, what kind of confidence does that give uh, you? A lot of confidence, you know. Uh, we've got a lot of young guys in the program, and you know, having them come up and uh, play with me, you know, I was in their position last year, and you know, I got to show them something and lead the way for them. And how have you been feeling more confident heading into today that you can hit the ball hard? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I've been working with Spence and uh, my coaches, and you know, they've really helped me through it. And you saw the fielder bobble that ball just start running a little bit harder? No, I was I was hustling the whole way. <laughs> When the ball went from the catcher, I, did you try to wave Brandon home a little bit, or what nah, did you get? I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to, you know, mess with him. Whatever his decision was, you know, he hesitated, so he shut it down. Which, you know, that's his, that's his choice. So. And so I guess how big is it to get? I guess when you're down, when you're down to your last uh, out, you know, what do you guys? What's your mindset at the plate up there? Just just hit it hard. I mean, I knew I was three for three on the day, and uh, I mean, four for four would have been even better. But uh, you know, just get get it hard is is good enough for me. Is it kind of funny that you're? The only at bat you didn't. Uh, first career hit, correct? No, I. Uh, he had one of them. Okay. Well, I transferred from well, the Naval nice. Academy, <coughs> um, so I had had several hits over there. First year, first hit as a J, though. Yes. Nice time to get one. It is. It is. It's very, uh, very relieving. Um, you know, it, all the anticipation was leading up to me getting that first hit, so it's good to get it out of the way. After a, you know a quick turnaround when they grabbed the lead in the top half, what what was the body language like? What was the I guess they kind of had the momentum going. So what are you guys thinking when you're coming up to the plate? Yeah, um, just be scrappy. You know, scrap for every pitch. Um, 
you know, don't uh, don't make any make any dumb mistakes. We had to, you know, really focus in and make sure that we were doing everything right and um, also not holding anything back. Though, you know, if if we had had a good pitch to hit, like I did, you know, put your best swing on it and uh, hustle everything out. You know, and just play hard.